Autolite and its 98,000 dealers bring you Mr. Richard Widmark in tonight's presentation of Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents a true story with only names and places changed. A classic report on a famous bank robbery and murder in the Old West. The story is called The Spencer Brothers. Our star, Mr. Richard Widmark. Well, Harlow, ready? Yeah, shoot, Hap. What is the heart of a car's ignition system? Why, the spark plugs, of course. And if they're not functioning properly, you won't get the smooth economical performance you normally expect from your car. And how do I keep the spark plugs in top shape, Doctor? Why, you have them checked regularly by your nearby Autolite spark plug dealer. He's the expert on cleaning and adjustment, and he services all makes of cars. But suppose they're worn out or wrong for my style of driving, Professor. Why, then your Autolite spark plug dealer will replace them with a set of world-famous ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, either standard or resistor type. And to locate my nearest Autolite spark plug dealer? Just call Western Union by number and ask for operator 25. She'll quickly tell you where to find your nearest dealer who sells... Autolite spark plugs, both standard and resistor types. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite presents transcribed The Spencer Brothers, a true story with only names and places changed, starring Mr. Richard Widmark, hoping once again to keep you in suspense. <laughs> Jim, wait. What's the matter? It's a good thing I did look at the bank. See who just came out. That Simpson man from Cass County. Yeah. Our luck gets no better, does it? Turn your backs on him. He may go the other way. He's not coming. He's not coming. He went into the livery next door. But did he see us? There's no way to know. We'll go in now. One at the door. You, John. All right, Carl, draw. Listen, you people. If everyone will stand just as you are, there'll be no shooting. Hurry, Jim. Open the drawers. Yes, sir. All of them. Put the money in the satchel. Yes, sir. Hurry. Yes, sir. I, I, I am. I can't. Come on, give me the keys. Yes, sir, take them. Sit down. Yes, sir. Don't move. Don't let anybody move. Stand just as you are. Don't move, I said. Stay where you are. Yes, sir. And don't stand up. Yes, sir. It's all over. Don't move, anybody. And don't try to follow us. We'll kill anyone who does. You've taken too long. Put your gun away. I'll cover while we leave. No one move. We're too slow. Hurry. We've been here too long. We're all right. Put your gun away. We'll walk to the horses. Hey, isn't that the Spencer boys from Cass County? Simpson, keep going. Hey, hold up. Hey, don't you remember me? Simpson from your county. Carl, no! Carl. With your gun. 
gun, you've surely killed us all. Come on! Come on! Get up there! Come on! From this moment on, we're dead men. Now, surely, there's no future for us except by miracle. No excuse for Carl shooting except that he's the youngest and that he was frightened. And a useless killing, it accomplished nothing. I'm sorry, Jim. I, I couldn't help it. Nobody else knew us. When he called out our name, I had to stop him. It's all right, Carl. You stopped him. You stopped us, too. Well, yeah. They heard our name. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Once we were right, we were the wronged ones. But no more. No more the soldiers still with honor sharing the Confederate defeat. No more justifying our motives and actions. The crutch we used, our persecution by the few hundred of the victors, that's gone now. Nothing's left except that we're killers and must never stop running and perhaps never stop killing. We'll have to hide now. Then we'll think instead of riding blindly. We'll think tonight and plan something. A man can't think without thinking of a future. We'll think us a future. Lie us a future if we have to. This is good. Over there. Oh. 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 Loosen the cinches, but don't take the saddles off. No fire, no smoke. This will be a dark camp and a quiet one. You haven't spoken for an hour, John. What is there to say, Jim? That we're brothers. All right. We're brothers. And the mistake of one is the mistake of all of us. Seems to be the way it is. I'm sorry, John. But wouldn't we have been hunted for the robbery? If Simpson hadn't been there, no, we wouldn't have. But he was there. All I could think was Simpson mustn't be there, and I killed him so he wouldn't be. What do you think we should do, John? Keep going, I suppose. Where? I don't know. Well, I've been thinking. All of us agree that killing Simpson was a mistake. But in the rest of our plan, we were right and justified. So we can still stand up among honest men. Where are we going to find honest men who will let us stand with them? We'll leave Missouri and go west, far west, Colorado Territory, where the country's just opening up. And how do we get across all of Kansas to get there? How do we leave here? What road do we take? Sure that there's no posse waiting to ambush us. Has the word spread so fast, Jim? Five hours? Yes, I think it has. Traveled faster than we have, no doubt. But I have a plan. By it, we'll find new lives in a new country. We'll talk of it after we rest. <laughs> But what is my plan? A half-day ride and a river crossed will put Missouri behind. But Kansas, almost 500 miles to cross straight away, coursed by roads and trails, with many people. My plan is to run, and I know it. Blindly, because there's no other way. Once across Kansas... Yes, there is hope if we are once across Kansas. Hold it. Hold. Hold. Slow down. Hold. Hold. Men are here. Four of them, Jim. What do we do? We do what's necessary. No more, no less. Do we fight? I'll thank you to keep your youth and your fright under control. We fight only if we're provoked. I'll talk, if you don't mind. Good afternoon, friends. 
Good afternoon to you. Where are you bound? We're bound for Salina. And I'd like to ask why you're interested. Where are you from? We're riding from Dodson. Missouri? That's right. Heard there was a big bank robbery and killing there. So we heard. You seen three men along the way? Could be the Spencer brothers? We've seen nothing. But we've heard of them. What have you heard? That they're not really killers or outlaws. They killed all right. And they robbed. What else do you hear? That they had reason to do what they did. That they came back from the war to find their family dead and their home burned. I didn't hear that. Their father was a wealthy man, you know, and he left them money that they couldn't get because all the records were burned. Most of the money, $25,000, I hear, was in the bank at Dodson. And that's what they went after. What was rightfully theirs. You know a lot about them. Where'd you get your horse? I bought him. And that's my business. You should have stole another brand on his flank marks you as a Spencer Brothers. Now, Look out, Carl! John! Carl? I'm all right, Jim. John? Two cartridges gone is all, and you? I'm all right. We better ride out of here. Come on, boy! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! I know how the word will spread. Four-man posse was ambushed and murdered by the Spencer brothers. More men on the trail after us. And less than half of Kansas crossed. Better at Shiloh. Better at Bull Run. 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 Run after your future, Spencer brothers. It's fast getting away. Autolite is bringing you Mr. Richard Widmark in The Spencer Brothers. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Okay, Harlow, recess is over. Then fire away, Hap. Just what is the Autolite resistor spark plug? Why, it's the greatest advance in spark plugs for automotive use in the past 25 years. Yes, but why, Professor? Because it has something extra. The built-in 10,000-ohm exclusive Autolite resistor, which makes possible such outstanding advantages as double spark plug life, smoother engine performance, and quick starts. And the Autolite resistor spark plug is only one of a complete line of world-famous ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs for every use. And now, any advice before school lets out, Professor Wilcox? Yes, yes. Friends, have your spark plugs checked by your nearest dealer who sells Autolite spark plugs. And if replacements are needed, get ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, either standard or resistor type. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right. With Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Richard Widmark in Elliot Lewis's production of The Spencer Brothers, a true story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Grantville, St. Mary's along the river, and half of Kansas is crossed. At the price of brothers, but more important, at the price of horses. They can't go on. The next house or settlement, we have to stop. There's no choice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carl? Yeah, Jim? We'll stop soon. We have to. John, how are you? Not complaining, Jim. We've covered more of Kansas than most riders would in the past two days. And nights. We'll stop soon. We need fresh horses, even more than we need rest. Where are we going to find people to sell us fresh horses? We'll find horses. <laughs> we have $25,000. And it isn't safe to stop and spend a dollar of it. It will be. When we get across Kansas, our money will mean more than our names do. That'd be nice. 
behind us. I heard something. I don't know what. Get up. Come Get up. Get up. Get up. Get $25,000, and it isn't safe to spend a dollar of it. When we get across Kansas, our money will mean more than our names do. But to get across Kansas, we have to have horses. Jim? Yeah? There's pals ahead. Pull in. We should try it, Jim. Yeah, it's an isolated place. Why is there a lamp burning so late? Maybe they're waiting for us. We can't ride these horses through the next day. We're north now. Maybe we aren't the criminals here. We are in the south. We might find friends. Friends? Hope there is a place where we find friends. You'd like to wait outside, Jim, and I'll go in. I'll go with you. Get it, get it. Come on, boy. Come on. Wait. Why don't you look through the window, Jim? See if you think it's all right. I'll be back. How does it seem? Peaceful enough. There's an old man there reading a newspaper. We'll go in. Not your rifle pointing at us like it is, my friend. man with a head on will greet strangers at night with a rifle. What do you want? We've ridden a long way and our horses are tired. We wondered if we could buy fresh mounts from you. If you have the money, you might. We have the money. Well, then, come in. Thank you. You want horses. Where are you going so fast? We're crossing Kansas, going west. Where are you from? Missouri. What's the matter with Missouri? You ashamed of it? No, no, sir. What part of Missouri? From Dodson by any chance? Yes, we're from Dodson. Any trouble about that? The words come out here that the three Spencer brothers came from there, heading west. You wouldn't be them, would you? Needing horses. I'm tired of this. What if we were? John, stop. What if you were? With a $5,000 reward on them Spencer's heads? I'm a mind to hold you here till I find out who you are. Get back. I don't think we will. Carl! (laughs) Jim! The lamp. The lamp. Where are you, Carl? I'm here. I'm hit. I'm hit. How bad, Carl? Where are you hit, Carl? In the, in the chest, I think. I don't think it's bad. I'm, I'm sure I can keep up with you. Get him outside. We've got to move him outside. Come on, Carl. Come on. Can you walk? I can walk and ride, too. Where's your gun, Carl? I dropped it. There. Found it. Come on, Carl. I'm, I'm, I better rest. I'm all right, but it's it's colder out here. Put him down, John. Yeah. You won't leave me? You no, know we won't, Carl. I, I'll keep up with you. Well, when I rest a little while. <laughs> when I... When I rest... <coughs> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. When I rest... <coughs> Carl. He's gonna die, 
Jim. Look. The lamp set the house ablaze. The flames from the house will draw everyone within miles. We gotta go, John. And leave him? The stable's over there. We'll have time to saddle some fresh horses if we hurry. I know how the word will spread. A house burned down and an old man murdered and cremated by the Spencer brothers. One of the Spencers killed, two left. Two Spencer brothers heading west on stolen horses. And who knows these horses? A hundred men? The markings on the Pinto John rides, the head of my roan? Who knows the road we take? How many after us? With six dead men left behind. And $5,000 on our heads. No one ever told us Kansas was so wide to cross. Pull up, John. Whoa, 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 whoa. The trees up ahead, they must mean a river. And on this road, a ferry. Can we afford a ferry, Jim? No. The trees look less thick to the south... We'll head off that way and look for a crossing. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey. It's the Smoky Hill River, John. It means we're getting close to the border. We're close to a lot of things, Jim. And you know that. The end or the beginning. The border is what I keep thinking of. They could know the road we take. They could know what we decided on and guard the crossing south and north. But we don't know. And we have to go. Have to cross the Smoky Hill. The borders beyond. Uh, Good cover on the other side, John. Willow, thickets, and elm. The bottom here looks better than we've passed. We'll try, then. Keep an eye out. Get up. Come on, go. Get up. Jim, sunlight on metal upstream. Come on, faster, then. Get up, get up. Come on, go. Go. Ah, Jim, I... uh, John. John, I can't stop. Come on, get up. Come on, let's go. was a mistake. We went after what was rightfully ours. Come on, run, Spencer brothers. After your future, it, it's fast getting away. Across the field, there. Help me. Help me get there. No, I, I can't. I'll pay you. I'll pay. No. No, my money's gone. My horse. I saw a horse running that way towards the border. Well, help me. Help me find him. I, I can't. There he is. This, this way. We got him in the open. Help me, please. Girl, help me. Oh, get away. Get away from me. I don't... Run.
Bess, your cause is getting. We showed him how Kansas takes care of the likes of him. Suspense. Presented by Autolite, tonight's star, Mr. Richard Widmark. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking for Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite is proud to serve the greatest names in the industry. That's why, during the early months of 1953, as we did last year, the Autolite family will join in saluting the leading car manufacturers who install Autolite products as original equipment. Our Autolite family is a worldwide family, and numbers among its members some 30,000 men and women in Autolite plants in the United States, Canada, and many foreign countries, and the 18,000 people who have invested a portion of their savings in Autolite, as well as thousands of Autolite distributors and dealers, and the many leading manufacturers who use Autolite products as original equipment. Our Autolite family will salute the Packard Motor Car Company on the next Autolite Suspense television program. If you live in a television area, check the day and time of suspense so that you'll be sure to see this program. Next week, following a popular trend, Autolite anticipates the strange disappearance of experimental rocket ship Y-272B. The time, the year 2053. The place, the planet Mars. The star, Mr. Jack Benny. The story is called Plan X. That's next week on... Suspense. Suspense is transcribed and directed by Elliot Lewis with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. The Spencer Brothers was adapted for suspense by Gil Dowd. In tonight's story, Joseph Kearns was heard as John Spencer and Sam Edwards as Carl Spencer. Featured in the cast were William Conrad, John Daner, Sammy Hill, and Parley Bear. Richard Widmark is soon to be seen in the 20th Century Fox Technicolor production, Destination Gobi. And remember, next week, Mr. Jack Benny in Plan X. This is National YMCA Week. All over America, the Young Men's Christian Association serves boys and girls, men and women of all races and creeds. Volunteer leaders are urgently needed. Why not pay a visit to the YMCA in your community? Perhaps you can be of service. This is the CBS Radio Network.